Hey, how you doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another time here. Welcome to another time in the upper room. Welcome to another opportunity and privilege to pray. Uh, so glad to have you. We've been doing a study through the book of Proverbs as we lead ourselves in a place of prayer. We've been in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 14 for a while, and that's where we're still going to go back in, and we're probably going to finish with it today or maybe tomorrow as we move on to uh, verse 15. But we've, we've, we've talked about the emphasis and it, we're, we're looking at here is the wicked man, the wickedness of man. And sometimes when we get born again, we've been taught wrongly. We've been given that impression that the wickedness just goes away. You know, yes, we have a new spirit, but because uh, our flesh is not taken away, we have a power over the flesh. So we can reckon it as dead. It, it no more has power over us. Because we're born again, we have been given the power, the ability to put to death the flesh. But it's not automatic. There's something we need to do about it. You know, John 1, 12, it says, well, as many as believed in him, he gave them the power. He gave them the power to become the sons of God. But to become, they gave the power to become. It did not make us. Yes, it did not make us. Yes, we, we, we were we were, as it were, we were adopted as sons, right, by the will of God. Yes, that is a standing, that is a blessing. But in terms of nature, right, changing, yes, our spirit has changed, but the, our spirit is not everything about what determines our characteristics, our character, our behavior. Our spirit alone does not. Our control center is our mind. Yes, and that two things to compete for that mind, my spirit and my flesh, my spirit and my flesh. And whichever one wins determines what I exhibit. Yes, I have a place in my reason of being born again. God made me righteous. God says, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, verse 21, he says that he, 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 he who knew no sin became sin for us. He took upon himself our sin. It was clean, but he carried our sin upon himself so that we can have his own righteousness. There was an exchange. He gave us his own righteousness and we received, and he received our sin. Yes, that gave, gave us a placing. That gave us a standing. That gave us an entrance into on, to the throne room, to the place of grace. But that is not the end of the story. Just our standing is not the end of the story. We still need to live a life. Yes, all of that gives us access. It gives us power. It gives us ability. But when, if we don't use that ability, then the power is in vain. Paul will say, he says, he says, I walk more than every other person so that the grace of God upon my life will not be in vain. The grace of God, the power of God, the, the, the enablement of God can be in vain if we don't use it rightly. God gives us power. He gives us standing. He gives, he gives us blessing. But it's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. That's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. You know, the real interpretation is many are called, but, but, but few choose themselves. Few meet up with the mark. It's not God that chooses you. It's whether you meet the mark of the calling. Whether you meet the mark of the calling. Though God opens a, a wide net to bring people in, but there is still a mark. There is there is, there is a there's a mark to be made. There is a past mark. Right, God is not going to let people in who, who don't meet the past mark. God is the dry holy God. God is a dry holy God. As much as He wants everybody in, there's a place. There's a part for us to play. If we don't play our part, we will not come in. Many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Many get born again, but not everybody that gets born again will make it to heaven. Many are called, but few break the chain, holding them bound. Again, we talk about John 8. He says that to, he was speaking to them that already believed in him. Those who are called. He says, there's more, there's more, there is more, there is more, there is more. It's not enough to be called. There's the place of being chosen. He says, continue in my word. Continue in my word. Because when you continue in my word, it will make a difference in your life. It will make a difference in your life. Continue in my word. It will make a difference in, my, in your life. Again, we are saved. We are being saved. We will be saved. It's not enough to be saved. We got born again. We're at Calvary. 
but we must do something with what we receive at Calvary. Otherwise, we will not be chosen. We will not qualify to enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah. So, so look at uh, Proverbs 6, uh, 14, and I'm just trying to get out of it. You know, it's looking at the fact that many are called, but few are chosen. God calls a lot of people. A lot of people get born again. A lot of people come to church. But not everybody's going to make it to heaven. You know, and that's just what the scripture says. I know people say different things, but if you look at the scripture, the way it is written, not everyone that is called is going to make it to heaven. God says many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. Really, it's not God that chooses. It's the people that are called that chooses. Many are called, but it's a standard. There's a bar that God will not lower. The many that are called must meet that bar. If they don't meet that bar, they will not be chosen. That's why God says, draw unto me and I will draw near to you. Many are called. But only those that draw near to God will God draw near to. We can't change scripture. I know we try to be, oh, we try to say different things to make people happy. But the truth is the truth. No matter how much we try to doctor it, the truth is what will save. It's like someone is sick and you tell the person you are not sick. The person is sick. You better address the sickness. No matter what you say, the person is not sick. It will not heal the person if you don't address the sickness. Mm. You have to address the sickness. <laughs> yes, we believe God for the healing, but you have to do what you can do. And God will finish the work. But you don't do what you can do, they say God will heal. God is not healed. Ah. It's not sick. Ah. The person will die. Mm. <laughs> you know? Same way with us as Christians. Many are called. But God has standard. God has requirement. That's why Jesus <laughs> seek first the kingdom. Seeking first the kingdom is not just getting born again. No. So seek first the kingdom and its righteousness. Seek first the kingdom and the way the kingdom operates. Mm. Seek first the kingdom and the way the kingdom operates. And as you seek first the kingdom and the way the kingdom operates, you must operate that way. Otherwise, you will not enter the kingdom. You will not be a part of the kingdom. You will not experience mm. the kingdom. So John 3, 5 says, as many as are born, 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 Born of water and of the spirit. Born. It's a burning process. It's a bearing process. It's, a, it's an evolving process. It's not born once. It's born today, born tomorrow, born the next day. It's an evolving process. Like we say, we, it, the gospel takes us from one level of faith to another, one level of glory to another. As we behold him as in a glass, we behold him as a, we are transformed. We are transformed. We are washed. We are cleansed. By the word of God, by the spirit of God, we are continuously mm -hmm. evolving, trying to be more like him, more like him every day, more like him every day, more like him every day. Right? That's what Paul was writing to the Philippians. It's a walk out your salvation. There is a walking out of our salvation. Yes, we are saved. We don't walk that part. That, that part we, we, we get just because we come to Jesus, we confess Jesus. We are saved. But there's a walking out part of the salvation. There's a walking out part of the salvation. We are saved. We are being saved. We will be saved. We're, there's a walking out part of the salvation, which we do every day. Paul says, I die daily. I die daily. I die daily. If you don't die daily, you are not going to go to heaven. The dying daily is dying to the flesh, coming alive in the spirit. Dying to the flesh, coming alive in the spirit. Dying to the flesh, coming alive in the spirit. And there's a way to do it. It's a process. So we see in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, it says the word of God is profitable. Profitable for doctrine. Profitable for reproof. Profitable for correction. for Also profitable for instruction in righteousness. There is an instruction in righteousness. There's a way to be righteous. There's a way to be righteous. There's a way to walk out our salvation. There's a way to die daily. And that's what we need to share with ourselves, help ourselves, so that our heart will not be hardened in sin, will not be washed away, will not, will not, will not sidetrack from the truth, will not miss God, because it's possible to miss God. Will not miss God, because it is possible to miss God. Jesus Christ gave the parable about the sower. He said, he cast the seed. Some fell on the, way, on, on the wayside. The, the, the birds came and just took it away. Some fell among stones. They were beginning to try to grow. But the cares of this life, the cares of this life, choked the world away from them. There's a way to walk so that the cares of this life will not choke the world away from you. There's a way to rise above. 
the cares of this life. He is part of the instruction in righteousness. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hello, man. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm just a family that you said it all. Mm -hmm. We have more than enough in our uh, biblical vocabulary yeah. to walk through. Mm. Satan will not will not fail us. Amen. It's Amen. Like uh, somebody was asking me yesterday while I was walking, he said, Can you describe Satan? I said, Nope. I don't have any description for it. And the only body, the person I know is the person of Jesus Christ. He said, No, I should I should tell him more about Satan. Mm -hmm. He said, I do I don't have any cause to edify Satan. But Absolutely. I can identify Jesus, Amen. the author and finisher of my faith. Amen. And uh, it is Jesus that I will want to walk along with. And now uh, I, I, and I encourage him to see. I said there's something in darkness. Mm -hmm. People become afraid of darkness. They, it, it, they, they think about many bad things, many things, which is attributed to the dark. I said, mm -hmm. but for me, this little light of mine is what mm -hmm. I have. I Amen. carry it and I will take it into the darkness Amen. and it, it will illuminate my bearings. I said, Amen. so this little light that I have, which is Jesus, is mm. what I will spread. I don't mm. have any story about darkness. Even when I walk through the darkness of life, I don't mm. fear it. I don't mm. have any reservation for it because I have a little light on me, which is Amen. shine. I said, when it shines into the darkness, what happens? Darkness disappears. Yeah. So we have no grace to mm -hmm. edify the devil. Man. We just need to go through the word of God. It has mm -hmm. more than enough mm -hmm. for us to go in and learn from and to, 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 to be learned and then to correct us, reprove us for mm -hmm. teaching and doctrine so that our ways will not be slippery, so that it will not be crooked. God Amen. will support us. Amen. It will. It will. It will. It is God's will that we 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 give us the kingdom. God wants to give us the yeah. kingdom, but He's not yeah. going to lower His standard. He wants to give us kingdom must be adhered to. Yes, He has given us all it takes to meet that standard, but we have to use it. We have to do our part. We have to do our part. He has given us a seal of our inheritance in the Holy Ghost. But we have to allow him help us. Allow him help us. Allow him carry us. He's a gentle, he's a gentle spirit. He's not going to force mm -hmm. himself. We have to cooperate with him if he's going to help us. Amen. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. And you too. See you tomorrow, God. <laughs>